<laughs> the Angels are a mess. They're a mess. And I, they're coming off of a, a series against the White Sox where, yes, they won the series, but I just don't know what to say other than this is just not good. This team, to start the year, had playoff aspirations, as it feels like they do every year, and it started to feel like they were doing things a little differently this year, doing it the right way. They go out and they just add a bunch of pitchers. They add Noah Syndergaard. Uh, Michael Lorenzen, Aaron Loop, Archie Bradley, re-sign Rysel Iglesias. And you start thinking, okay, maybe this is doing it the right way. Maybe let's see now, after all these years we've been clamoring for pitching, they go out and they get some pitching. Let's see how we do. Well, it just hits a wall. They go on the longest losing streak in franchise history. Anthony Rendon can't stay healthy, can't stay on the field. They end up getting in a massive brawl. Archie Bradley, one of the guys they bring in, falls over the dugout railing and fractures his elbow during this fight. I mean, the the Los Angeles Angels, are they're, they're just allergic to winning lately. I don't know what it is. It's unbelievable. I truly feel... And I worry about this, that the years of Otani and Mike Trout, the MVPs, the years of Otani and Trout are being wasted. And wasted is a strong, strong word. I understand that. But with Otani and Trout's four MVP wins, the Angels have had the AL MVP in four of the last eight seasons. Trout also finished runner-up in two of those seasons. The Angels have had either the MVP or the MVP runner-up in six of the last eight seasons. During that eight-game span, the Angels had an overall record of 592 and 602, under 500. They've had two seasons in those eight seasons above 500, and they've had one playoff appearance in which they got swept. This is ridiculous. It happened again the other night. Last week, Mike Trout hit a home run. Shohei Otani went three for three with two doubles, and the Angels lost to the White Sox. They were losing 10 to four. I sent out a tweet. At the time, they were losing 10 to four. They lost worse, worse than that. That's the tweet. That's the all time tweet. You could tweet this almost every time the Angels play baseball. Mike Trout has homered tonight. Shohei Otani is three for three with a home run, two doubles, and a walk, and the Angels trail 10 to four. Incredible. That was my tweet. This is remarkable. We are wasting the prime of two of the greatest talents in the history of Major League Baseball. I wanted to do some research here on Mike Trout and Shohei Otani versus the rest of the team, just for fun, just to see how it all played out. Okay, So Trout currently has a war of 4.2. Shohei Otani has a war of 3.9. So they have a combined 8.1 war. Shohei Otani and Mike Trout, 8.1. The rest of the team, as in every other player on the team, combined, pitchers and hitters, have an 8.4 combined war. Trout and Otani alone are 8.1. Entering today, Otani and Trout have hit 40 of the 96 homers, scored 99 of the 327 runs, driven in 96 of the 327 runs, and have drawn 72 of the 241 walks. All over a quarter of what the team has done. Most of them being well over a quarter of what the team has done. This team is, yes, built around Shohei Otani and Mike Trout now, or Mike Trout and now Shohei Otani in the last couple of years. It's been remarkable. But we are wasting the prime of these guys. So I really started to think of why. What is going on? How are they wasting the prime? So one of those being they're just doing dumb contracts with guys, to be quite honest with you. And it started years ago. Obviously, I don't put this one in the same category, but it started Josh Hamilton. You bring him in when he was one of the best players in baseball. That contract just didn't end up working out. Albert Pujols, you bring him in for 10 years and $240 million. Albert Pujols is one of the greatest players of all time, but they signed him to a 10-year contract when he was 32 years old. 32 years old is when they started that contract. We all know that didn't work out, but it tied up the payroll and is still affecting this team and will for a long time to come. That messed them up. Then Anthony Rendon, 
one of the better players in baseball when they sign him. Seven years, $245 million. He was 30 years old when they signed him. He is the fifth highest annual salary in baseball. Only Mike Trout, Garrett Cole, Max Scherzer, and Carlos Correa make more than Anthony Rendon this year, and he's not playing, and he didn't last year. It is remarkable. The Angels, it all went downhill. We say Angels in free fall. It all happened at that losing streak when they lost 14 in a row. Their first 44 games of the year, 27-17, and 17, a plus 53 run differential, scored 4.8 runs per game and allowed 3.6. All right? Since then, their last 34 games, 10 and 24, a negative 49 run differential, scored 3.4 runs per game, and allowed 4.8. Completely flipped. Completely. This team's in shambles. They fired their manager. They bring in interim manager Phil Nevin, who we had on the show recently, by the way. Really fun, really good interview. Go listen to that. They brought him in. And it hasn't seemed to to really change the direction of this team. Uh, it hasn't been good. Then they obviously get in the massive brawl the other day uh, that tons of players. This was this was when I say brawl, this was a brawl. Suspensions, all that good stuff. The the here are the suspensions from the Angels Mariners brawl. Phil Nevin got ten games. The manager, ten games. Jesse Winker, seven games. J.P. Crawford, Anthony Rendon, Dom Chidi, five games. Andrew Wantz, Ryan Tapera, three games. Julio Rodriguez, Bryce Iglesias, Ray Montgomery, Manny Del Campo, two games. Bill Has- uh, Hasselman, one game. Oh, man. This is, this is a mess. The Los Angeles Angels are a mess. Phil Nevin declined to say what he thinks about getting a 10-game suspension the other day for the brawl. He laughed at the fact his suspension will end during the Angels series in Baltimore where his son plays. He said it's kind of cool he'll get to watch his son Tyler play as a father. So, I mean, there's, there's a guess, a silver lining. Other th- you have one silver lining here. It's Mike Trout and Shohei Otani, what they are doing. And what they are doing is better than anybody else almost in baseball. It is remarkable. So, yes, the Angels are in free fall. I don't know how they figure it out. Clearly, they need to do better than they are. This tweet is an all-time tweet, and this reigns true today, and it forever will. You might have seen it already, but I will read this, and you will laugh, and you will see. This is from over a year ago, by the way. But here's the famous tweet now. Every time I see an Angels highlight, it's like Mike Trout hit three home runs and raised his average to 528. While Shohei Otani did something that hasn't been done since Tungsten Arm O'Doyle of the 1921 Akron Groomsmen, as the Tigers defeated the Angels 8 to 3. I tweeted something very similar that was facts the other night. That's how true this still remains. The Angels are a mess. They are in shambles, and I don't know the answer. There might not be an answer, but I do have a couple questions. Hit me. At what point do you look at what they're doing over the last five, eight, ten years and go, this is not working. We have to start moving some of these names. Yeah, I think so. The blueprint that they have, we've talked a lot about blueprints for success this year and how teams have just figured out a certain blueprint for success. The Houston Astros have certainly figured out. The Tampa Bay Rays have figured out a blueprint with what they have. The Angels had a blueprint and it's failing miserably. (laughs) Their blueprint was, okay, We'll have these guys be our core, and then we will just build massive – we'll just throw all the money in the world at aging guys who are still on top of the world. Well, guess what? Those contracts don't work out because two years into it, those guys are 34. Albert Pujols is 34, two years into his 10-year contract, and the production is just not there anymore. So their blueprint for success is awful. And at some point – You're just going to have to tear it all down and build up around guys. And are those guys going to be Mike Trout and Shohei Otani? I don't know because those guys have been vocal about, hey, I just want to win. Mike Trout is locked up for the future. Shohei isn't. And he said, I just want to win baseball games. So the Angels need to figure it out and they need to figure it out fast. That's the problem. 
I don't think this is a situation you figure out fast. Because if you're an Angels fan, you look at Otani, you look at Trout, and historically with all these big trades in Major League Baseball, the team that gets the superstar is the team that usually always wins the trade, right? And in, in this case, I don't know what you would give up for either one of those guys. And then it, you have to get rid of, of not just one, but both of them. Because if you give up Trout this year or next year, then Otani's going to look at it and go, okay, this is a rebuild. I'm out of here too. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't see a world in which, look, Mike Trout's not going anywhere. He's not. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Shohei Otani just hasn't been, hasn't been wrapped up for the future. So what does his future hold? I don't know. But all he said is that he wants to win and the Angels aren't winning. But it's not his fault that the Angels aren't winning. Thanks for watching. If you love flipping bats, swinging 3-0, or just talking ball, join us. Call us at 213-537-9339 with your questions. We have a weekly guest, and we have a lot of fun, so hit that subscribe button.